Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for October the 13th. Today, in 1534, Alessandro Farnese was elected Pope Paul III. He came to the papal throne following the sack of Rome in 1527. It was a period that was filled with uncertainties in the Catholic Church. There was the Protestant Reformation going on. And during his period, he started the Counter-Reformation, the new Catholic religious orders and societies like the Jesuits, the Barnabits, and the Congregation of the Oratory. He also convened the Council of Trent in 1545. He was a very important patron of the arts, and he's also the person that Nicholas Copernicus dedicated De Revolutionibus Orbium Celestium on the revolutions of the celestial spheres. Pope Paul III was unable to suppress the Protestant Reformation, and as I said, he laid the foundation for the Counter-Reformation. He also excommunicated King Henry VIII in 1538. In May and June 1537, he issued his three most famous documents. They were the papal bulls Sublimus Dei and Altitura Divini Consoli and Pastore Officium. Now, I think that the Sublimus Dei is the most important of these. It relates to the enslavement and evangelization of Native Americans in the New World. And this particularly said that the Native Americans had souls and could be converted to Christianity. So this also meant that it was not legal to enslave them. And he says, nor is it credible that anyone should possess so little understanding as to desire the faith and yet be destitute of the most necessary faculty to enable him to receive it. Hence Christ, who is the truth itself, has never failed and can never fail, said to the preachers of the faith whom he chose for that office, go ye and teach all nations. He said all without exception for all are capable of receiving the doctrines of faith. Now, some modern historians say that this papal bull had been swept under the rug by Protestant historians in later generations, and some Catholic historians in particular say that it was the most important papal document relating to the condition of Native Americans, and it was addressed to all Christians. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.